is my live display kitchen where uh, I prepare some uh, special saute dishes, uh, fresh appetizers. We make some fresh pasta to order and a lot of beautiful, wonderful dishes. Excellent. It has to be fantastic for everyone in the dining room here. They get to smell what's coming out, see you preparing all of these fresh dishes. That's right. Tell me what we'll be preparing today. Well, today we're going to be making a, a hot appetizer, which is fried smelts. Oh, my family has those every year for the night at the Seven Fishes. You either know what a smelt is or you don't know what a smelt is. Absolutely. It's a classic seven fish dinner appetizer. And uh, we're also going to have a fresh cold appetizer made from fresh mozzarella, sun-dried tomatoes, black Moroccan olives, and fresh basil picked about two minutes ago from the garden. Now, do most of your ingredients come from the property here? Ninety-five percent of our ingredients do, especially when we're in season. We have fresh tomatoes, the eggs from the chickens, all our herbs are fresh grown here, and uh, Sometimes we get even lucky enough to get some fresh goat milk cheese. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get started. All right, we're going to build this fresh mozzarella appetizer. It's kind of really eclectic. It's really nice. Got a lot of color. We're going to take a fresh piece. This is a four ounce mozzarella ball. And you can see it's handmade because it's not really a, a ball. Right. So it just fell, falls together like it's supposed to. Oh, it looks incredibly fresh. So here we have black Moroccan olives. Oh, now you don't make these on no, purpose. No, they're, they they're Moroccan olives, but they come through Italy through my uncle's import business. That's where we get the olive oil and the olives. For the uh, restaurant. Now we're going to get some of these sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, that looks so pretty. I just love top. all the different colors. Yeah, a lot plate. of color on this dish, a lot of flavor. Then we have some nice olive oil just to put on top of the mozzarella. Mm. Then we have some of this fresh picked the basil right from the garden. This is columnar basil. It's non-flowery. It's a little spicier than a regular basil. The leaves look a little of, bit smaller. They're smaller, than smaller but if you smell it, you smell the whole garden there. Oh, I can smell it from here. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, well, here we have three different pasta machines. One of my favorites is the guitarra, which La is... guitarra! Exactly, exactly, exactly. Oh. My great-grandmother always had this on the table. It was always there. She was always making pasta. So let me show you. You take a sheet of the pasta. Mm -hmm. the is sheet this of, spinach pasta? Spinach and egg pasta from the eggs or from my chickens, you know? And uh, my, as my grandmother said, if you talk like this, the pasta comes out very nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll see. So I get the rolling pin, and I roll it out onto the guitar strings. And they have to be nice and tight. They look pretty thin. Will this be spaghetti or angel hair? This is going to be like a uh, linguine. Oh, okay. Linguine. Let's see. I roll it in on the lines and then I just pluck the guitar. That is dry. really neat. There it is. Beautiful. So that's one. Now I'm going to make you crank some. All right. I'm We're going to make it. some fettuccine with your machine there. Ready? Okay. I'm going to put it in here. Go ahead. I don't want to get your finger. No, that's okay. I had a manicure yesterday. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> She's unbelievable. She's a professional. She's the pasta matic. That easy. That's her. I want to show you the human pasta cutter, which is me. I take the pieces. Instead of laying it out, I fold it into, fold it a few times, and then I take my knife, and I'm going to cut a pappardelle. A pappardelle is a wider, about a one-inch noodle. Okay. What kind of dish would you use? We're going to use this. I think we're going to use this for our veal saltine bocca today. Oh, sounds then good. Then I just fluff it up. What we're going to do, we have veal, fresh parma prosciutto, fresh mozzarella, some grated Asiago cheese, and Reggiano Parmigiana. Mm, my favorite. Yes. So how do we prepare this dish? Well, we're going to take this cutlet of veal and delicately dredge it in this flour. This looks like such a thinly sliced cut of thin. meat. Very thin. It's pounded, pinned. It's beautiful. We take this and put it in our saute. And this is going to be real quick. Some people roll the salting bocca, but I like to build a tower. Layers, layers, layers. It's real nice. Nice plate presentation. And you'll see when we uh, when we put the plate together how nice it's going to look. This is really a quick dish. Sure is. So there's our veal. I already I just flipped it once. Okay. Now we're going to take the prosciutto, the farmer prosciutto. Put a couple slices on there. Very thin slices. Okay. To get that flavor. Then we have the fresh sage. I put the fresh leaves of sage right in there. 
Wow, I've never seen this prepared this way. And actually, I've never even had veal chef Lou. You're kidding me. No, never. Today's the day, baby. I'm excited. <laughs> yep. Okay, and now, here, I like to take the fresh mozzarella ball and just break it like an egg. Okay. And I'm gonna put it right on top of it. Oh, wow. Okay. Now we have the sage, the prosciutto, and the fresh mozzarella. Now I'm just gonna take a couple pieces of this grated Asiago, put it on top. Then I have a secret ingredient. It's my special herb pepper that I put on top. Okay. All right. Mm, I can already smell it. Can you smell it? Delicious. Good. And then, there's always six ounces of wine for this recipe. Okay. Yes. Per serving. Two ounces. Woo! Go right in there into our butter sauce. The other four ounces you got to keep for the chef. Oh. Where's my glass, Chef Lou? All right, our pappadelle are done. Spinach egg, remember? Right. And you know, we always salt the water really good. You have to. That's what yes. flavors the pasta, right? Yep. Oh my Here's goodness. Here's our salt in boca. It's Slide like it right breakfast. off. Oh yeah. This is our little wine butter lemon sauce. Fresh rub sage again. And you know what? I always like to put a little dressing on the side of the plate just to finish the plate off. A little fresh parsley. Oh, beautiful. Sun-dried tomatoes. A little red there. There she blows. You know what I forgot? I want to put a little bit of the grated Reggiano Parmigiano on top of it to get that last cheese flavor in there. All right, thanks, Chef Lou. Let's have a bite here. Mmm. Mmm. Good, huh? You taste just the delicate sense of the sage. I do. It tastes unbelievably fresh. Salt in bocca di vitello con pappardelle di spinaci. You know what I always say? It is what it is. Salute. Mama, what's the cheese we're talking about this year? Actually, we just serve it in family stuff. <laughs> <laughs>